When you take somebody on physically to be able to do the dance, the dance is the movement, like with Diamonds Are Forever, and we'd hold choreographed fight in an elevator. Made one mistake, baff, and it was him and not me, thank God. And he knocked the wind. father's generation was a sort of very much a post-war thing and someone coming along who defined a generation or at least gave hope to a generation that was feeling particularly battered and bruised after the second world war and then along came this lone hero and it was Sean and it was you know this magnificent man who just you know that's the person everybody every male wanted to be stop look he's gunning for trouble double oh seven it spells Bond. Shocking. This is the design of the interior of the volcano, which is the headquarters of our villain. I can. The 60s and late 50s was a renaissance of all the arts in this country, and Bond was one part of it. The 60s were when the British took off their handcuffs and said, fuck. The empire doesn't exist any longer. Now we will take over. And so I let myself go and always tongue in cheek, but try to reflect the era that we were living in and maybe slightly ahead, you know, of that time. One million dollars, Mr. Bond. In a way, I think Dr. No set the style for the rest of the Bond films. Underneath the mango tree, my honey and me. Who is that? It was still a bad time in Britain, not great. Um, so many people identified with somebody getting away with all these dollies and the food and a matter of killing, well, you're licensed to kill. I think it's a side of it that's um, it's very much a fantasy. And um, I still get stuff, you know, sent to me and... You know, notes and sexiest man alive and all that stuff. At the time, a lot of the British characters were thought of as being eccentric. Some people didn't think Sean Connery was appropriate. They wanted to have a more smoother character. But he turned out to be just perfect for the role. Kirby and I went through, I would say, 200 actors. I, I like the way he moved. They move like cats. He's suave and he's smooth and he can soothe you like vanilla. The gentleman's a killer, Mr. Kiss, Kiss, Bang, Bang. I never got introduced to Fleming until I was well into the movie, but I know he was not that happy with me as a choice. He called me or told somebody that I was an a overdeveloped stuntman. He never said it to me. I bet he didn't. No. <laughs> Dr. No and From Russia With Love were phenomenal hits at the box office. 
The third Bond film, Goldfinger, marked the onset of spy mania and sent the crowd wild at its world premiere in Leicester Square. It was fantastic. And, and the plate glass window was pushed in in the, in the cinema. It was really so overexciting. Harry Saltzman always used to say, uh, when people leave the cinema, the women go out lusting after Sean, as it was in those days, and uh, the men go out walking tall. <laughs> Roger was good in a completely different way. He wasn't the sportsman, the macho that uh, Sean was, but he was maybe more sophisticated and a great sense of humor. Nobody does it better. Sean, physically, is a much tougher individual than I am. It's easier to accept him as a killer than me. My sense of humor, I suppose, sort of has to overcome that. I cannot say, I am going to kill you, or mean it. And I'll kill you if you don't. But you couldn't. You wouldn't. Bond's gone on now for 40 years, and other actors have taken part. Why do you think its success is so enduring? The ingredients are all there, full of kind of movie that people want to see. It has, it has very good entertaining value. Uh, for example, it's a spectrum of actors. I mean, from myself to Daniel Craig, who I thought was fantastic, marvellous in the part. Daniel Craig said he saw all, all the films, but he took an immense amount from, from your films. Uh, I suppose uh, um, nicked is a good word. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm flattered. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's there to see. And the, the, the danger element, I think he really gets it. What's interesting about looking at movies, for me, is I remember all the nonsense that goes on before the take and after, rather than what's happening on the screen. I'll tell you something, and nobody's noticed it, but I do every time. When the Bond film comes in, it goes da 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 and then the character comes through, fires the gun at the lens. It's not me. For the first few, it was Bob Simmons, the stunt man. And every time I see it, I always think it's funny. My name is Bond. 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 The only thing that worried me was how could I say my name is Bond, James Bond, without saying my name is Bond, James Bond.